Welcome, welcome to Relationship Hour. We're at Silks at 21300 Libby Road, where we have some grown folks conversation over some good drinks and some great food. And uh, I'm Kenya Brown. And of course, I'm with my brother here, Mr. Sam Silk. And also, Tacoma Maria. How you doing, love? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely great. Good. Absolutely great. No complaints. Excellent. You can come on over, meet us. Come have a drink with us. Come talk some mess with us. They're coming in, too. Yeah. They're coming in. Yeah, pull on up. 21300 Libby Road is about to go down. Great conversation. Share the video. And uh, these questions have been selected by you, Inbox, and those who have pulled up on us throughout the day. And what's up, Vicky? And you guys can, uh, this is Grown Folks Conversation. I'm letting you know now. If you got your kids, yeah. turn it off. Uh, put them out. <laughs> put the kids out. That's a fact. Put your kids out. This ain't. This is not for them, Peanut. This is not for them. Everybody had a good week? Tacoma, you had a good week? I had a good week. Did you have a good week? So far, so good. You had a good week, uh, Kenya? Yes, it's only Tuesday, so I'm going to count it as a good week thus only far. Only Tuesday. Yes. All right, all right. All right, so uh, pull on up 21300 Libby Road, and you can also... Uh, order your food online at uh, silks, s silks with a y dot com. I pull on up. Tacos going hard. I might do me some tacos tonight. All right. And no dropping catfish while you uh, on the panel. Aww. Uh, well, see, that's, you ain't that's, right for that. That's what you're doing. That's see. That's oh, what, that's oh, what, you ain't you right. That's what you, oh, I'm that's sorry. What, okay. I didn't know. It wasn't catfish. What's up, Rabbit? And that was a good piece of fish too, girl. It was. It was the biggest piece on my plate. Oh. I was hurt. I was hurt. You know you'd be sad when you you got your lips all fixed. <laughs> right. And you can pull on up two one three zero zero Libra Road and join in on this conversation absolutely free. And we about to get it in. First topic, what do we got tonight? What's oh. good? All right. Uh oh. Why some women can't give a man what they want most. Men ask for respect, not love. If you give the respect, a man will know that you love them. Mm. Yeah, why? We got two women sitting up here. Why? Um, I, I don't know who these people are. I don't know. No, I, let me know. read it then. Let me read it from a man's point of view. Man's you read it from a woman's said. point of view. Oh, then, okay. And then I'm going to dive up in there. No, but I'm not going to be with mess. somebody that I don't respect. I'm not going to be okay. sharing my bed, sharing my life with somebody that I don't respect. It seems like you're setting yourself up for failure. So yes. right. I, I don't know why you would still be dealing with someone at all yeah. that you don't respect. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. But what, yeah, right. I agree. I think a man wrote the question. Um, if y'all just tuning in, he says, why some women can't give a man what they want? Most men ask for respect, not love. If you give the respect, a man will know that you love him. Um, some women just be, be going on and on. Uh, they say vulgar stuff. They talk all that stuff and piss their guy off because they, they got too much lip. Wait a minute. Wait, too much I lip. I said it. I ain't taking it back. Got too much damn lip. Too much lip. Just saying disrespectful stuff. Are we talking about adult yes. females or children? Adult females. Too much lip. Adult females with too much damn lip. So they just being I, disrespectful They being out disrespectful. Here. I'm wow. not going to sugarcoat it. There's a bunch of men who have uh, witnessed disrespectful ass women and sometimes Women can be so flip at the mouth because they're used to it that they don't even realize how disrespectful they are. Mm. So it's facts. If it ain't you, then it ain't you. But it is a whole Wait. He ain't had to say it lot of disrespectful wow. ass women that he got a flip ass like mouth. <laughs> you ain't had to say it like that. That's right. You didn't have to do that. That's right. Ain't that right, Spike? They got a flip ass mouth. So what if it what if it is like some breakdown with the guy? Maybe he's No, not it's not getting, a breakdown. I understand when you disrespecting me. There's no breakdown. If I say I don't like this, if I say I don't like that, and you keep doing it and you gotta make them smart comments all the goddamn time, that's a problem. It's a problem. 
Okay, but oftentimes people have a hard time giving what you ask for when they're not getting what they ask for. No, that's a fact. So that ain't we, the question. That's that not, that not the question. No, that's not the question. The, the right question now. is why can't women do that? Yeah. So perhaps that's the answer. Yeah. So you the think? problem hey. is, problem is, you can't turn it back around. We're going to answer the question. Can't be doing oh, that. He, so basically, Being flip, flip, we blah, blah, we blah, go blah, blah, we blah, just go talk blah, about the ladies. We, we but the question is about a ladies. woman. When it comes to our turn, then then it's our turn. All right. Well, you see how they are. Y'all see this? They beat me up. Now, wait a minute. Oh, is this considered being be flipped? Y'all see this? Am, am I being flip at the lip? I don't oh, know. Not yet. Oh. You waiting on it? You waiting? It's him, right? You waiting? It's him. Maybe some of us, maybe some of us don't know that we're being flipped. No, at some. The lip. Okay, so so all jokes aside, when a man tells you that, acknowledge it. Don't be so quick to go back and forth with him on that. If that's how he says that you're making him feel, mm -hmm. then acknowledge it and say, well, maybe I might be a little flip. -lip. Most women just, most women, it is what it is. Y'all flip mouth a lot. Why does it have to be most? Why can't it just be some? No, because most is what it is. It's not some. It's a lot. Most men are not going to admit this even in front of their woman because they're a little scared. <laughs> they're scared because they know that it's going to be a little more flip lip that come with it. Hmm. Okay. See, I'm going to tell the truth. Okay. <laughs> next question. Next question. Yes. <laughs> I, th I still think it must be his <laughs> fault. <laughs> it's his fault somehow. He, I was he was flip. much more I was flip. Was flip on much was, more flip. See? I got to take up for the guys. These guys what they get say, all don't scared start none, they... won't be none. Yeah, see. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Don't start none. Next question. What you got, That's King? What's, what's your all right, all right. So, should you leave your spouse? Uh, if your spouse cheats, love is not a fairy tale, it's work. Not perfect. Should you leave your spouse if they cheat? I think it depends. On what? What does it depend? Depends on the situation. What you guys have going on. What the cheating was about. If their heart and mind are gone, or if mm -hmm. it's just their other part. Mm. You know, I think I think it's a discussion. I think it's a you know, there's uh, there obviously is no one pat answer, but right. I think it can be worked out. So if they were For just sharing people, parts, me. if they were just sharing parts, that's okay? I, no, I don't think any of it is okay. Oh. That's why I said for other people, not necessarily me, but, you know. Well, like Trina mentioned, we talked about this, was it yesterday or today? One of them days. Yes. Uh, Trina said that she couldn't, at first she, she thought about just like busting them out, but she said she gave it some time because at the moment she wasn't ready to leave. It's easy to say what you're going to do when you're not in a situation. But it took her four months before she decided to confront him because by then she had probably made up her mind on what she wanted to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we asked the question about do you just get the receipts um, and then you present them. But it goes, I think it goes back to what you just said, Kenya. It goes back to uh, where you are. Most, most marriages do not end over infidelity the end over money over mm -hmm. things going bad with money some people can get over uh that it's hard but some people do because it depends on where you are uh financially and where you were was well, she being flip lip and that's why you know what <laughs> you let that go I, I'm, I'm not you messing with you go please let it go. I'm going to always refer to the last two or three or five, seven <laughs> questions. No, but wow. seriously, it depends on where you are. It depends on where you are, the man and the woman. Some people don't go looking if you ain't already got a decision on what you're going to do, though. That's rule number one. But you know, you can't help but look. If you're presented with a certain... Oh, that's different. I'm facts. saying, don't you just go... Let me go look today. Yeah, yeah but you when you're presented with it. some evidence yeah. and you find out, I don't know. I, you know, it depends on how incriminating the evidence was. Like, was it just like some random text saying, hey, good morning, how are you doing or mm -hmm. something? You might not, you know, you might follow that for a little while to see where, you know, is there some the more to the leaves. story? But now, if they send in uh, butt naked pictures with it busted wide open, talk about I missed you or look at what you look at what you did or something last night or something, 
Then Well, if they don't say last night was good, but they do send the picture, it's just some entertainment. Listen. It's just some okay. entertainment. Okay. Just some that entertainment. might be the time that you get that frying pan across your face. <laughs> right. Exactly. I mean I mean just for the disrespect. Just for it's the just disrespect. entertainment. Yeah. No, it's not just entertainment. <laughs> That's when you're going to get that flip lip. Yeah. yeah you're going to get all that. And they don't understand from whence the flip lip comes. Yes. So, so y'all, so, I mean, I spoke in general of people, but what do y'all think about that? Is that, you know, how do y'all feel about that? Well, like I said, I think it depends on where you are in your relationship and what exactly is going on. If it's the first time, one time, is, you can probably get through it. Perhaps. I mean, maybe. Because sometimes, you know, people don't have good sex lives for legitimate reasons. Um, it could be health reasons. It could be emotional reasons. It could be, you know, whatever. So you guys need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, communication is key. So talk if about they why. slide on out, you're not having good sexual relations, but they slide on out to fulfill themselves. Well, I don't think it's okay, but I'm saying you don't necessarily have to leave because of the infidelity. I think you address the reasons why it's happening. Listen, and see people if you have whole kids, whole families. And that's whole, one reason and, why and some people, you know? yeah, they stay. It depends on that. And, and, mm -hmm. and it depends on getting the rules. See, a lot of times everybody look at it as uh, the man is the one. Women cheat just as much, if not more, than men do. I don't concur. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they do. That's why men do what they, I mean, a man can't do it unless a woman obliged to it, unless she wants to do it. So there are, there are you know, a lot of women who that's get their the, cheat on. That's not the same. There yeah. are women who cheat. No, there, I mean, there, are, women, there are women who cheat. They just, they just, they don't, they don't get caught. But no, 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 no. And they no, do it. They do it better. No, let's be why real. No, let's be real because women <laughs> will accept their man back, baby and all, cheating and all, crazy girls still showing up at their doorstep at their job. They'll still take that dude back and fight for him. But let a man find out that you didn't uh, slid in some extra sausage. Why? They got out. Got a whole problem. Got a well, whole problem. Uh, the, type, the type of questions that whole men problem. ask. Yeah, it's uh, tight, but there's certain things that, what up, Lala? There's certain things that men will ask when it comes. Some men, some men, some men, some men, not all, have made it through that. They can make it through that, but a lot of them can't. Right. Make it through, How, what are you talking about? Oh, the woman getting smashed with, oh. a, with a penis all in her have ear a hard somewhere. Time with that sort of thing. Just you know. difficult. Yeah. You'll give it out all over the place, but can't take it. Can't take can't it. Take, we're can't take it. We're not supposed to now. take a penis. Can't. We're not. We're not trying to <laughs> take a penis. That's not what I mean. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> no, they can't. But you know, if you decide to take the person <laughs> back, you have to decide whether or not you want to forgive them enough to continue in an actual relationship yes. because. Nobody wants to be on a lifelong punishment. It's right. like, you no. remember what you did back in 86? Right. You can't keep bringing you know. it up. If you're so, going to stay, then you yeah. got to reconcile that and not keep throwing it back in some. But you face. need to have some time, I think, to figure that out. Because people will get back together, try to, and then, and then when you when you hitting it, you thinking about how the best man was. Yes. When he was standing up there at the I, I, wedding. I, I, Women go through that too. We yeah. have to. I mean, oh, you yeah, have dude. to think about yeah. your man oh, yeah. being intimate with, some, with somebody with else. else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, how does she do? What does she say? It's easier for women to take it. That's right. really. Oh yeah. That's pretty difficult. Oh. Did she do it as good as yeah. I did? Oh. Yeah. That's a problem. All those things. Oh. You know, but women don't ask the questions like men do. Or do y'all? I, I don't want to know. A man to be like, was this thing bigger than mine? Yeah. You know, we don't ask all those <laughs> I, I don't want to. I personally don't. I wouldn't want to know. I don't want I'm going to get ignorant today, y'all. Don't give me the blow by blow. I don't want to spare me. <laughs> Next question, what we got going on here? I got to stir up the pot. All right. We've been stirring it since we started. Okay. Why do women ignore red flags with men? Yeah, why y'all? Y'all start. Hey, we got women out here who Thank can and respond to that. Kira is awesome. Make sure you come. Yeah, ask Kira, why do why do awesome answer the question since you're here? Why do women ignore the red flags? On the spot. To not be alone. Oh, oh that was a good answer. Dang, she was right that to was the a point good with answer. that. She kind of dropped the mic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, that's hilarious what you just said. 
Um, why do women ignore the uh, red flags when it comes to? I'm about to give me some shrimp tonight. Yeah, I, I know. Shrimp. Your shrimp looks so good. No, but my yeah, fish looks yeah. bomb too. I'm Y'all sorry. pull on up if you in the area. You can come hang out with us, get your food on. Uh, can we see your shrimp? Uh, that's a shrimp. My food looks good too, Sam. Okay, well let me turn the camera. Hold on. <laughs> it's so Getting all jealous, huh? Yeah. How the hell are you gonna eat all that? I had to do the Vanna White. Check it out. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. Okay, so next question. They just don't want to be alone. That's no. That's what I mean, it is. I mean, it's. I wouldn't even say that. That's a. That's not even really a question for a woman. A lot of people. Men and women ignore the red flags because sometimes you're going for that personal uh, uh, satisfaction of the flesh and you ignore the red flags. It's right there, but you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, you know. I agree that they don't want to be. Especially men. Men like, you know what? She crazy as hell. She didn't show me her house dirty as hell, but I'm going to still hit it. When that sex is good, they'll 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 take the. Uh, y'all chance. know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. You know, y'all a woman. Y'all roll the dice. A now. woman, a woman won't won't hit a dude. Well, would a woman hit a dude if his house is is tore up? If it's like his toilet dirty. I'm sure. That's, Come that, on. I mean, she probably will. Some trifling broads will she do that. She probably will. Some trifling women. Yeah. yeah. But so nine dude, times out of ten, she's not going back to his spot anyway, so she don't know. Dude's gonna like. let the roaches uh, roll he over gonna, their legs. He gonna everything. fight the roach just to get in that he ass. Gonna fight the get roaches. out, man. He gonna do everything. And then that's and that <laughs> depending on how crazy she is. Hey, you know. What, I'm right, what else you got over here? Next question. All right. So, knowing if you're waiting for someone to be ready, or are you just wasting time? Say it again? I don't know. It says one knowing, I guess. Knowing if you are uh, knowing if you are waiting for someone to be ready or are you just wasting So I guess in a relationship, if you're just waiting for someone to be ready, I guess, for a next step in a relationship, are you just wasting your time? Open up your mouth and ask the question. Don't assume. Th- no, that is a really a big thing right now. I know a lot of young ladies that are dating and they are afraid to ask like what what is this what are we don't don't be riding on the penis and yes. ask him what are we like little kim did like he gonna tell you whatever because he in a moment right mm. so don't be riding a man and ask him what are we but the no, chances but are, are he's gonna tell you whatever anyway you know you know definitely that's gonna a, tell you what you need chance. to hear right then and there absolutely I don't know. Um, you you probably just wasting your time if you are if you not ask asking the right questions. Yeah, that's the right question. The more you do whatever it is that you're doing, if you're sitting there playing wifey and you know giving him everything that he would need, you know everything that a wife would do. You cooking for him, you cleaning for him, you sexing him, you doing everything in hopes to be a wife. Well, he's sitting back like, well. <laughs> I don't got to do nothing else. Right. I'll, you know, happens. I don't got to marry you to get this treatment because. I'm it already. Cow it, milk. Yeah. Yeah, why buy it? Why are we still using cow milk? That, that just sounds so 1955. It doesn't sound well, any worse than you saying flip at the lip, Sam. Who? It sounds no worse than that. <laughs> It'd be a flip at the lip. Flip at the lip. Flip at the lip. <laughs> you went on a whole tangent. Okay, mm. I'm going to go back so, on cow and it. Milk. See, that flip lip going. <laughs> So you got too much lip over there now. All right. right, What's the next one? What else y'all got? So why do men think they are entitled to women's bodies just because they spend a couple of dollars? Uh, Well, I can't really ask that, but I can answer that. I could, I could say some. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a answer it in different ways of different people I've heard from different people, different men. some people think because of their time and their money that that's part of it. I spend this, I spend that. Now, y'all just heard what y'all said about why I get this and why I get that, right? When you get married, y'all, y'all talk about why you don't do things like that. 
And so I think sometimes some men think that that's part of what comes with the date. Not all men, some men. I'm trying to answer for a few of them because we don't have enough in here tonight to respond. The others are being quiet. They got masks on. They don't want to be seen or heard. <laughs> yeah. My guy right so, here, he never So stops. some of them automatically think, and it's immature to think that just because you spend some money that you're supposed to get some ass. If you want some ass because you spend money, there's a couple of corners you can go to. Well. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a couple of corners that you can go to if that's what you're looking for. Um, and those, those are, I, I call those, those are the, the boys. Um, what's up? What's up? Uh, Jake St uh, Staley's in the building. How you doing? Okay. There? So now there's this, there's this thing uh -huh. where guys fly out the girls, they go on trips and different things. They might fly out a friend or two. Yeah. And only get they watch in the videos and in the pictures or whatever. But so, so let me give you part two to the to, to the first right. to the, to answer the question. Some women go intentionally. They know that if a man spends some money or if he flies you out, they gonna give up some ass. That's just part of it. It's just even exchange. If he if they're not talking about a relationship, they talking about having a good time. He wants to have a good time. So does she want to have a good time? They are women who I have watched on social media say, if I get flued out, I know I'm giving up some ass. I know I'm doing this. I know I'm doing that. So that's why some men are really trained from how women present themselves. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they get to a woman who ain't into that, and they think that because of all these other bras they was dealing with, that, that she's like that. Because these other women, that's how they think and that's how they are. So that's why some men think just because I spend some money, because he is used to that from the type of caliber women that he's been attracted to. Because he's been kind of trained that way from them. Because well, a lot of times with men, we do what we see. We do, okay, if she like this, I need to do this. I got to get a certain type of car because it's going to bring me certain type of women. I got to wear a certain type of shoes because it's going to bring me, this is what boys do when you're coming up as a teenager. You, when you were in high school, the girl, when you was a freshie, a freshman, she didn't want to talk to you. You wasn't on no. the football. If you wasn't on the football team, she ain't trying to hear from you. No. She was trying to go on prom. Right. The freshie, the girl, same girl your age, she was looking at who's a junior and senior. Sophomore and freshman, you're done. No, that's a fact. <laughs> I was trying to go to prom. I was being fast. I know. But I still wasn't trying to do the do, though. Not with him. I just wanted to go. Sure wanted. you just wanted to go. I did. <laughs> I wasn't dating high school dudes. I was dating dudes out of high school. So. Right. Like girls so who I was dating R. To. Kelly type guys. Oh, no. See, don't nobody want to talk about that. No, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm about to hit the real, I'm about to hit it real good. Because everybody, I'm not taking up for him peeing on no girl. I ain't talking about that. But around America in the urban schools, men, grown as men, have always been known to be driving up, pulling up, hollering at the high school girls. And we act like that didn't exist. Like we didn't see the R. Kelly's the only one. You a damn lie. It was men who were 21, 20 years old, coming to pick up an 18 year old or a 17 year old. Let's keep it real. We act I like that mature. ain't real. I was mature for my age. But you was very mature. <laughs> And so was he, because <laughs> he was behind. And he didn't catch up. It don't make it right, but look, look what happened in the 60s and 70s. Our grandparents were 10 years older, and the girl, the girl half our grandparents would be in jail if we went with today's society. No, that's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> that's the you truth. wouldn't even know who your grandfather is. Nigga, he'd be locked up. Like, Grandma was 14 <laughs> when you got And pregnant. that nigga was 20? Right. No. Oh, we got the mic, 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 mic time. Come on, y'all know. Y'all know what it is. They got to hear y'all. This is adult conversation, not just us on here. I'm just talking to keep it going. I need y'all to talk. <laughs> is that mic on? Get your mic on. Because they're doing it. Just mm -hmm. because those 20 year old guys are, I'll say, praying on 16 and 17 year old girls. Mm -hmm. 
he's grown. He's supposed to know better. Mm -hmm. Whether the young lady is willing or not, mm -hmm. he's supposed to know better. And mm -hmm. I am not an R. Kelly fan. My daughter was Aaliyah's age, that age group, a little younger, mm -hmm. when R. Kelly was doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, the, those people sent their daughters up there. You could parade 100 15-year-old girls in front mm -hmm. of a, a man, and a man is going to be, that's a child. Mm -hmm. But So I got a real question. This is a great conversation. What happens if he's actually attracted to it does it mean is he a pedophile yes it does yes, if he's does. three years yes three years older than her every time a 15 what is an 18 year old man got conversation with well that means that i was a pedophile girl. because when i was 18 when i was 18 i saw a girl 15 i'm just i gotta be telling the truth now look, i didn't rape or do anything son. i was an 18 year old guy and i was attracted to girls who i went to high school with Right. Who my I was there with, so how was, can I be a pedophile? To, my 18, when my son was 18, he was trying to date a girl that was 16 years old, and my husband said, no, sir, mm -hmm. because she's not old enough to consent. So, yeah, that, that's a different ball game talking about but, consent. But it's, but it's still the same thing. It's, but I it's don't, a combination of a man should know better. A man should not you be You 18, you're not. If you go to, I totally disagree. A 15-year-old girl, and... That means that when you get 20... And when she's legal, then you still, you're still in your mind, you was like that. Majority, can we be honest? Majority, you going to school in high school. What about the girls who were 16 looking at the guy who wanted the guy who was 20? Where is her, per is her mind perverted to? And she, I'm just I being, still think that the adult in the in the You're not an adult at 18 one, years old. Is the one who's supposed to, to take the step back. That, but that's just me. I'm not here. The but parent that I am. That's know? old school, and I respect yes, that, yes. but... I'm looking at the majority of today's society and even past today's society. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because a young man is not hardly mature at 20, 21, 22, no. 23. And but some of those men even fully and some of those yet. men who dated a girl and he was 20, 21, turned some of them turned out to be great fathers. Great husbands to the girl right. who was 15 or 16 years old. Maybe. I'm, I'm just saying, not all, but you had some who waited and they weren't good fathers. It's, I'm, what I'm doing is I like to make people think. Can I make y'all think tonight? You got to make, make people think. This is, this is some good, that's why I had to flip it on now. This is some good stuff. <laughs> Woo. See, when I talk about real, it gets quiet in the room. It gets quiet when you bring out the real. No, I mean, you're thinking. Yeah, let's think yeah, about it. Thinking. Think Absolutely. about it. Let me ask the men in here. When you was 18, you ain't got to put your hand, you ain't got to uh, give them a mic. When you was 18, was you ever attracted to a girl 15 or 16 years old? Yes. 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 I will say it. I'm not ashamed. When I was 21 years old, I saw some 16, 17. And like I mentioned earlier, I was like, you know, it is what it is. We don't want to be, we don't want to be honest. It's about what you do and how you proceed on if you move on that. Now, when it comes to consent in different states, different states are different. Different states are different. So, yeah, they're a little-ass girl. That's, some, that's sick. That's, that's, that's totally different. But when you're sitting over here, people have thoughts and stuff that you would never, ever say because you're afraid of what other people may say in their judgment of you. But you're human. You're going to have certain thoughts. Everybody here, can you, can you share every thought you ever had in life to this room right now? Absolutely not. Yeah, please. They're going to mic, bro. Keep it on, keep it on. Keep it old school, yes sir. Yeah, now, when I was in school, my teacher invited me over to her house. And I was like 16, okay? So I'm trying to- I'm familiar with that, I tell you about that. That happened at Julian, keep yeah. going. Oh, okay. okay, what happened? And uh, I, I was kind of more attracted to older ladies at a young age. And uh, it was a pretty interesting journey, 
Okay. Oh damn, y'all yeah. went there. But uh, oh hell, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm not trying to get off track to what you. No, go ahead, go about. ahead. Yeah, but and uh, I don't feel like I was abused or anything. I think it was just an uplifting experience to a degree. Oh, you hit you hit your teacher. <laughs> Let's just say I went over. God there. damn, he hit yeah. his teacher. He said it was a. What, what but you don't feel. But yeah. how, okay, can I ask you this? No, we're not. You're not disrespected. But how old were you, and how old was the teacher? I was seventeen. I was seventeen. Yeah. Give or take, I was sixteen or seventeen. Uh huh. And she, this was her first year of, of teaching. She's about twenty. She was well, so. Twenty what? Give or, give or take twenty three. I say about twenty. And you was how old? And I was about seventeen. Okay, that's about. Okay. And, I used to want. Listen. And, and I used thing. to want to hit my my English teacher. Well, well, one more thing, and she was she was white. Uh huh. I can't leave that out. Oh, you hit a oh, white shit. woman, and she was older okay. than you too. Yeah, and, and, but back then we was more like hippies and stuff. We about Boy. to be too yeah. hurt. Oh yeah, yeah, man. You thank God you still <laughs> with us right here, old school. Now, then as you lived up north, right? Huh? You lived up north, right? No, I lived in Cleveland. I was yeah, kid. Yeah, you lived up yeah. north, not down south. <laughs> Somebody say yeah. yeah. You should have kept that teeth. And uh, but yeah, up north. Yeah, north. But anyway. <laughs> well, I was a kid. I heard you. Yeah. But I mean, I don't care. Like I say. Cape Dead, what they call y'all? Absolutely. And uh, you can see the young girls, they, they be like, like they say, well, that's my Cape Dead. Uh -huh. Wow. You know, they find, you be buying a little thing, you know, the same jewelry and stuff. Listen, and he's okay. happy to buy it because he want that nice little young thing on his, on his arm. It makes him feel good, make him feel young. And so, yeah, he buying it. And she don't know guys her age that probably has money like so, that. So she like, what's up? Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for Appreciate sharing it. that. That's, that's all right. Perspective. Go ahead. Come on. Come on back. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> come uh -oh. on, girl. Come on. Some sort of schoolboy fantasy for y'all that you're, you're dating your teacher, doing whatever with your teacher. As a 20 year old woman, have you ever met a 16 year old boy that you was like, you know what? Got to get some of that. I not have, ever. I have not. But see, my experience is that my husband was one of those older people. Okay. He was not in high school with me. I was 17, okay. so I was consenting Consent, age. Yes. But he was still an adult, okay. technically speaking. Anything over 18 is an adult. Mm -hmm. He was over voting age. He was over 21. Okay. But so. And you, you had know. some wonderful kids from that. Yes, marriage. all three of my children. I love them. But to death. you never hear a woman, a grown woman looking at a, a under 18 boy. No, but when you get 48, you know, so. you might now, look at a now younger man. Now when you man. get 48 and he's 21, I see, I now see, that's different. Oh, that was different. I, I've seen I, I, I've seen how women have made comments about my sons. No, that is I'm the serious thing ever. The way that people I've seen look it. at my I've child. I've heard it about my boys. And I had to look like, hold on, girl, what's wrong with you? I have to check Ooh, myself. he's so fine. I said he's three. Yeah, he's got, two. Well, I mean, she could have said he was cute. She said he was fine, and she said it in a certain type Absolute of way, saying right. when he gets older, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change his diaper to see where, yeah. where how he's stacking right three. now. My son grown, and I'm still offended. Don't. He was three. I've heard women say that about both of my boys. Yes. Okay. Yes. See, I, women are didn't. better. Uh, women. Are some of them didn't. Right. Yeah. Women are better to keep they mental images to themselves. <laughs> we all see women saying, ooh, when you get older, you're going to be fine in the mug. That's, a, that's it. We hear women say that all the time. Now, my wife, we argue about this all the time. I'm about 16 years old. I'm at my friend's house. We kicking it. We playing the game, whatever. She said, it's time for y'all to go to bed. So I put my coat on, I'm about to get ready to go up. She said, no, RJ, you stay. <laughs> anyway, I was at my dude's house. Sis and said mom, he was raped. Yeah, his mom broke me off. Come on in, y'all. I was 16. Join in Wait, the so conversation. The mama, the mama was trying to get some? The mom got some. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh. Wow. You could, if you get, you guys can come to the back bar. Yes, it's open for yes. No, it was just, um, 
I mean, you didn't feel bad after the situation, wait, right? Wait, wait, wait. Did I feel bad? You I never told bad. him. How, how old was she? Well, I said she had to be at least 20 years older than me. Well, dang. Oh, wow. Oh, she was a nasty old lady. Yeah. Well, I can't say that I've ever dated anybody under nine years older than me, so. Y'all hear that? That's just that on that. You got me. Before we wrap that up. I, I, I think again, I think again, it's based upon the maturity of the people of the person, especially when it comes to guys. Guys have to be smarter than women are when it comes to that. Yeah, you have to. You just, especially in today, you, you, you got to be smarter than that. But I don't want us, I brought it up because people act like that behavior, one man started it, and that was be the behavior of most urban high schools or neighborhoods and then we act like and we pretend that we didn't see it or it didn't happen and then we also act like like we are so and i'm not saying nobody in here is perfect but we also act like you don't have certain thoughts and certain things have come and you've entertained certain things you know what i'm saying i mean the the whole thing of dating um on the age again it, it comes you have to look at the whatever state you in y'all watching the age of consent and no, you shouldn't be looking at no damn child. So let's be clear and understanding of that. We don't do shit like that. Right. Okay. But if you are, you know, how can you say that a woman is farther mentally developed more than a man? Um, and then yet you look at him funny for dating um, a girl that's uh, three years younger than him. He's 18 and she's 16. Like, why wouldn't he, you know? I mean, I just, especially if you're all in the same school and whatnot. Well, yeah, a few years younger, that's, that's not as um, detrimental as people who are much, much older than you because nine times out of 10, you know, there's some strings attached to whatever cat daddy doing for you. You know, they, they want some type of control. They want something for, for that money, for that time, for that attention if not just power over you. So you gotta and, be careful. And, and what about the women who lie about their age? Why would you do the that? Younger, the young women who lie about how old they are. Oh no, that's true. Yeah, women lie. Yeah. Especially when you're young, you're trying to get in a club, you're trying to be different places that you want to seem like you fit in and you're mature. She know damn well she's I, not 18. Or t you're lying. I mean, you're gonna go screw a whole grown man. Listen, I wasn't screwing, but I was stealing my sister's. I was stealing my sister's ID, though. Yeah. Oh, let me. Never Next question. Him. Let's move on. Yes. All right. My friend always puts her child second when she gets a new man. Is it my business? You said it's not your business. It's not. It ain't your business. Can we hear more? Uh, yeah, I mean, because if that's your friend and you see she neglecting right. her should, child, should what happened if the child something? come and say something to you, auntie? Auntie, she said, Every my friend time I always puts thing. her child second when she gets a new man. Is come it my on. still ain't my business? It's not my business. No. Not. It is not. Did she not? come to you? Why not? If the child comes to yes, me she said, Auntie. and says, My mom neglects me for a man, yes, where's that child's father? Yeah, what if it's a baby? What if it's father? a young baby? What if it's oh, uh, what age are we talking? We don't know the age. That's mm -hmm. just an opening to do what they want to do. You gotta come young, to okay. but, but if that's my friend and, and I observe that behavior and I speak on it one time and you don't change it, then I might need to distance myself from you because I can't be a part of that. But, but so you'll let the child like fall into potential harm? I would ask because you more don't think it's where it is. Because then, then there's the, the opportunity for me and you to get into it. Why are you in my business? Why are you trying to tell me how to live my life? All I can say is, if I see that my friend is neglecting her 9-year-old, 10-year-old because she found this new dude, I'm going to tell the daddy, like, look, you need to come get your kid. That's worse. I'm not trying to fight that no you her woman. Friend, she no going to feel dude. some she type of way that you called her daddy, that you called her baby daddy. She going to feel, why, why, why you go to that shit, bro? Why you go to him? But... I'm not going to have you mad at me because I'm not going out She's going to be mad at you because you went to her baby daddy. And then she won't have the kid to worry about. Then she can lay up and do whatever all day with that dude. Then Ooh. she can do what she wanted to do. Come on, come on. Get wrapped. You got to come the to the mic. mic. 
Oh, yeah, uh -huh. okay. Also, Dr. Hay, I'm trying to get my little Right, while you sit up and screwing your brains out, I'm going to take her out. So you coming to get the baby? Take my baby out somewhere. I feel like, I don't know, if, if you can't help or um, offer any assistance in any way, can you really say something? Can you... Can you tell them you know, what to do if you can't help? You know, some, I think you know your friend, your, your friend temperature. I've learned in life that some people I put in, in, in certain categories and what I, I can tell him or her. I used to be like, you know, like real, real, real vocal. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on the person who they are. Right. On I know how far this conversation goes. I may tell you one time. Some friends I may have a one time. Mm -hmm. Some you may have a two time. Especially if they're the type that are always coming to me telling me how stuff is messed up and jacked up right. and want me to listen to hear. Right. Them the ones I'm really going to lay it out to. But I'm not, I'm not, I got this thing. I'm not going to tell you no, no more than a few times, and after that, I'm done. That's just me because I ain't got time for it. You grown as you know. You right. know, you know, little, 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 uh, little uh, uh, Meek is tired. He, keeps, he's, he wants his mama home. You want his daddy home? He, right. Oh, wow. Wait, not to put Tony at five o'clock. Daddy has, yeah, daddy has. Oh. I have five aunties. Oh my god! <laughs> I like these great candies. <laughs> I have five aunties, Uncle Sam. Oh my gosh. Do you know him? I met a new one today. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang. That's that was so true, though. They do be giving, they be drugging them babies up so they can go to bed. Just so, so they, they can, can get them they, some. You so pray. they can do their thing. <laughs> Y'all better stop giving these babies oh, that boy. melatonin. All right. All right, Lou. Next question. My ex's mom is trying to give me worms. Should I hit? She fine, though. No. No. Huh? You're not, it's not a relationship. No. Yeah, it's yeah, not a relationship. Took the time to write that down. My ex's mom is trying to give me worms. Should I hit? Right. That's what they say. You get worms. Right. So, yes. So should he give her some? She fine though. Yeah, no. That's what absolutely he said. Absolutely not. She fine. Absolutely. No. It just. No. That's that's just that's older. just, that's that's just, just a saying. It's not people. real. That older it's not people real. give you worms. <laughs> right, it's not real. <laughs> That's just the same. Most people don't give you worms. Look, we don't. Yeah, they we old, they got worms. worms. Because they're young, they got crabs. And when you're older, you get worms. Listen, right. <laughs> Y'all got crabs. I ain't got no worms. Uh, what you <laughs> got? So you got DoorDash? <laughs> oh, just come on in. Come on in, Doc. So what if... The ex did something horrible, or the ex was. That's oh, no so excuse. Revenge. Oh, you mean horrible? That's yeah, no like, that's that's excuse. I heard something totally different. Right. So if they don't ex, mom's is. Why would you want to smash your ex's mother? <laughs> it's Thank plenty you. of fine women uh, your age. You. Let me help y'all out. Let me help y'all out. Okay, I can't. That's I can't. Spiteful. She's I can't. trifling if she wants to sleep with and her he daughter's boy ex boyfriend. And she probably jealous of her daughter. <laughs> right, she's trifling. No, 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 no. She a hater. She trying to. Everybody smash her is not in the same category. See, that's the problem is that we all try to sit up here and act like everybody's supposed to be like this, like that, like that, like all this, right. like that. How are we supposed to be? Give me. There some are some people. Give you some respect. No, uh, no, I said perspective. Oh, perspective. Okay, some, some. Okay, I right, see. I just be too real, and that's the problem. Like maybe your mind ain't there, and that's good. My mind drifts and been places. I just don't do them. Does that make sense? How many y'all have ever? Can y'all tell the truth? Because a lot of people are liars. Y'all just lie, try to look good. Wow. How many y'all have hey. ever thought? When y'all saw that armored truck sitting out there, a what if moment. <laughs> what? And we all, that don't mean you gonna do it. But you had a what if moment. You really thought it out. 
Especially if, if your wife was in Walmart and you were sitting in the car and you saw that truck pull up. It's like, damn, I could have went there all that time. But there are some people, it doesn't mean it's right, but there are some people who have had even a fantasy of hitting, hitting her or hitting him. They're just not going to admit it. Everybody has been to a family reunion after you were dating somebody and you saw one of their cousins or family members. You was like, damn, I would hit that. I wish I could. Or I thought, you thought about it, but you just didn't. Like, damn, I should have met that cousin first. I should have met her first. I should have met him first. But I'm saying stuff that none of y'all never say, but your asses have thought about it. Maybe but you so, still but that wasn't the show. question. You still that can't do it. it. But I'm saying that's, that's not the question, but that's why some people will proceed to go on and do that. Some people, I brought it up because some people will say, you know what? Why not? Some mamas or some daddies will stoop that, will, will do that crap. Hell, you got some mamas that have turned that have turned their daughters on to dudes they didn't hit. But what don't would ask that me do? how I know. What would that do to your relationship with your daughter? Because then at that point she's feeling like everybody I bring in the house to meet my mother is but possibly on the table. It depends on literally. It de no, no, no. Listen. It depends on if they're that type, like that that you don't like the one. We don't do that. No, hold on. There's two types. There's a type that's trifling as hell, that both of them will go that way. And there's one where the other one's just trifling as hell, like, why would you do that to your daughter or to your son? So it's, it's, it's two trifling levels, but it's, <laughs> the daughter and son might, I mean, the daughter and mama might be on the same thing. I would never trust my mother again. That would be weird. Yeah. That should be like that ain't off no limits. Mama. That should it be completely. Sh it should that be. No mama. It should be. Off limits. Nah. But we the ones that live on this side. They live on that side. I'm just trying to bring y'all to the door that they, well, how they live. But I you, wouldn't, I wouldn't even want my daughter to feel like we're in the same dating pool. Like what? No, I don't want nothing that, no. It's a lot. What y'all no, think is a lot of that going on. There's a lot of people who have, who have had fantasies on what I just mentioned. My but like you said, just because you think it doesn't mean you should do it. So still, no. You want to tell them? I'm talking too much. But why don't they, I mean, but you, don't you have to think better of stuff though? Uh -huh. Shouldn't you think better of it? Just because some people do it, does that make it acceptable? Yeah, does that mean that better? they should? What's better? What, that's morally. Well, well that's people just, think it's morally. Yes, I agree with it's you. A lot of stuff morally, though. If you go right now, broke. if you I go mean, on your phone true. right now and you go in PH and type in Granny, you're gonna see what we talking about right now. Yes. This is the second show. Porn Hub. What's the name of this? What's the name of it? Pornhub. Yeah. Oh. oh, Pornhub. Oh. <laughs> See, see, man, I won't go there. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, uh, yeah. No, porn I gotta get does some more. have a lot of titles just it's like that. Those are act, some of my of actors, things. though. No, but they're probably see. Yeah. for things like that. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Doing that. We're hitting a granny. Well, granny yeah, she's like about milks. 40, 45. Not that she 80. <laughs> oh, probably grannies with no TV. It's just. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Why you give it to me? You've been reading the questions all day long. I don't. You don't know nothing. Oh, oh your mic went out. Here you go. Oh, you just going to pass the mic along check, for this check, question. Check. For this ignorant thing. Okay. Check. Do women eat coochie better than a man? We don't have any bisexual women who want to no. admit that they're bisexual here today, so we don't know. So I guess we can't answer. The question cannot be answered. Um... Unless you want to go back outside, put a scully on and come back in, hide your face. 
No, no, no. See, th this has to be a man's question because only a man would ask something like this. Dude. Probably so because women, women have said, I've heard women say that statement though. I've heard women say that. That they do? That women that, do? Yeah, that women, because y'all know each other's body, where you wanted it more than the guy and all this and that. Y'all know how to take y'all time and I, find out where it's at. Yeah. Get on the mic. Get on the all mic. All women like That's different right. things. Absolutely. You might like. All coochie is not eating the same way. Right. Some people might like I a mean, soft touch. Yeah, Some people right. might like a more I'm firm, just man's, manly man. Some women don't want, don't, you, you got to go soft when you're down there. It means you're slow. And some want it fast. Some want it different ways. Yeah. Some, Sometimes you want all of it at the same thing. You know. Okay, girl. All right. You, okay. You're expressing yourself today. All right, all right. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Getting it all at the same time. Any lesbians or any back there? Any bisexuals want to answer that? What's All what right. Most women don't know what they want because of the toys they use. Uh, uh, but how can we say most women don't know what they want? I don't know about <laughs> all that. Did you just drop the mic? I personally all right. You coming, you coming to the mic? All right. Okay, how many people here are familiar with the concept of the pleasure gap? Anybody? Yes, the, no, maybe? The pleasure gap. Pleasure, pleasure gap. gap. What is that? Okay, so pleasure gap is the probability or the likelihood of each partner reaching orgasm during heterosexual sex. Um, it's 60% for women, 90% for men. Cisgender, by the way. Um, now that goes astronomically up if you're open enough to use toys during sex. But if you have a fragile ego and you don't want to do that, that's neither here nor there. Um, with that being said though, most women do know what they want during sex if you're open to listen. Most men aren't though. That's, that's just me. Agreed. That's just do me. the snaps. I feel like we, I feel like we on poetic justice. Or listen. Come Agreed. back and do the poem stuff. Give us so, a poem. So basically, yeah. if, if you use some toys, you can get, you have a better probability of having an orgasm. If Is that you, correct? Or uh, if you use your ears. Come on, come on to the mic. If come you on. use your ears. Okay. You're welcome. A lot of people, and that's, that's body language, got, and, and that no, takes. It's, it's different when you use that versus when you get human contact. It's something that you do by yourself, but human contact is completely different. You'll probably reach an orgasm within a couple of minutes versus spending 20 minutes with somebody you love. That love feeling is different than reaching an orgasm with a robot toy, or whatever you want to call it. It's different. But what if he can't, okay, yeah, yeah so what if he's not first getting of all, you there? I don't want it to the last toy? two minutes because I want it to, I want to enjoy the experience. That's right. why I don't care for the toy. The toy is enjoy just the experience. Yeah. That's just if you want to get it off. Like, right. you know, if you just want to get it off. Sex is to enjoy well, the it, experience. Well, I, okay. Well, let me yes. say this. Respect. Everybody in here was right. Nobody was wrong. Because it depends on what you're into. I think that uh, what you just mentioned, it depends on, and, and take what you said, and what you said, right? He said most men don't, what? Listen, because they trying to, to get to where they trying to go, right? But some women, and you can enjoy some good ass sex with a toy, and a guy if his ego ain't in there, and if you into pleasing each other, it goes back. What did you call it, that y'all both do what at the same time? You both bust one? You both have an orgasm at the same time. Didn't you mention that? The pleasure, the pleasure gap. gap. Let's gap. start using that more. The pleasure gap. So it just depends on if and how you guys are into each other. On what you're willing to try with each other. What you're willing to experience with each other. You know what I'm saying? And I think we all went into that being selfish as in me. Absolutely. My thing. I think there needs to be a willingness. And this is something that, well, maybe tell him my business, but something that I've thought a little bit more about tell it! lately. <laughs> but really, I think if you focus more on your partner as opposed to yes. focusing on your own pleasure, but trusting that the partner that you have is going to equally focus 
on you and what you want, but that is, you know, that's presuming that that person listens, that they use their ears, they use their mind, and they have a willingness to do so. But I think it makes it a bit different when you focus in a different way and you're not so worried about trying to get yours because you know they're going to give it to you and you're going to give them theirs. And toys are for utility. They're, that's just to get real quick to the feeling. It's not, people don't do that. You know, there's no, there's no um, substitute for human contact, like she said. Humanness is something. We want to feel the skin. We want to feel the breath. We want to feel everything. But you use a toy mostly by yourself just to get there. But focus on your other, focus on your person. Not so yes. much you. Thanks, Sam. And I think really that's, that's the difference in the intimacy, um, the approach to intimacy sometimes for women and for men because men have a goal in mind. You know, you're trying to get it off. You try to do your thing. But women, you know, are looking for the experience. It's more of, you know, yes. are you into me? You, you, do I feel sexy some, when I'm with you? Some men get turned on and will still bang your back out uh, come after, on. after they're come not on, school. All men are not intimidated about you and your toy. Okay? Yeah, it, you it, you everybody doesn't even like toys. No, right. That, if for those who are those women who like toys, there's some women who really like. I see it all the time next door. Yeah. I've seen. Yeah. People, I was like, damn, you a freak. <laughs> like, oh, not. And I won't say, you know. I'm like, damn, look who next door, right? Ladies, I'm like, put your mask on. When you yeah, put your mask on. Door. But my point is, they don't want to feel shame of what they enjoy. It's just if if y'all match each other, that's all that really matters. Why y'all can't match each other? Cool, man. Hey, hey, put that so we can hear you. Talking to the mic, sir. Talking to the mic so we can hear you yeah. you got the mask. Okay, look, this is me. All right, like I say, I'm, I'm up in age now. If I, I'm, I'm with a woman, I want to, like, rub her toes. Come on Take now. my time. Because I got more time now. I'm not All rushing right. about each other. Yes, All sir. Right. But first, I'm going to make sure she's going to go where she's going. Now, I'm not stroking myself. And that's the whole, I mean, toys is cool. It's the time and place for all that. But as you get older, you want the whole experience to last and be enjoyable. This is just me. And it's about taking my time, making sure I'm blowing in her ear or neck and work my, hey. just doing some nice things. And the response that I get is so real. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's all it you got is time. It ain't just about, hey, man, man. No. Listen. We don't do it. No. It, it, that yes. ain't working. That's not working. <laughs> High five, sir. Okay. High five. That, that's not. That. Yeah, I'm with that. That's not working. Take your time. Yeah. Listen to old school. And that's the whole. That's the whole experience. Is uh -huh. when the, 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 the especially when y'all meet together. Right, right. And that's that's just something that you don't experience with everybody because you don't have that same Connection. energy yes. with them. And yes. certain ones. You can just feel that energy and you know about how to guide and where to go and where not to go and what time to go and what time not to go. Mm -hmm. And that's the experience that, that you feel as you get, I, I, maybe it comes with age. I don't know. But that's the whole thing I, I, I feel when you're with, with someone that's your partner, you give them more attention. Now, I mean, it should be a time where I used to go, when I go, I used to be out there, I asked a young lady, let me use your bathroom. When I go to the bathroom, I'm checking to see is there a man shaver in there? Wait. Look, <laughs> you look, looking at the medicine cabinet. This comes, from, this comes from learning almost getting caught when I was young. Right. And you learn to do things out there. Like, let me check the bathroom first. Like, uh, ma'am, let, let, let right. me use your bathroom. I'm checking, looking up in the sink and everything. Seeing any shaving cream, anything. Shave. Okay, now I'm going to go at these. Okay? But do the, it anyway. My, yeah, but my, my, like I'm just saying, it's, it's just an experience when you with someone that you just got that energy with. You really want to make a full. How old are you, enjoyment. bro? How old are you? I'm 69. 69. Oh. 69. So yeah. how long? It's an interesting number. Okay. No, yeah. but how how you know, long did it take you to learn to slow it down and when you pleasure? When start getting her? older, you start getting older. But I mean, well, what age? Well, I say I, I, I would say okay, and that, I, I mean I don't want to. So you don't come quick no more. I, I, no, 
I don't come quick, man. You know what? No, that's a good thing. Hey, I put it in like this. Look. You, hey, hey. He, look, he look, has figured it look out. Look here, cool brother. Look here, cool brother. They come before I do. Let's put it like that. That's good. Oh, come. All right. Okay. That's good. That, 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 that's, okay. that's, 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 that's nine out of ten. That's what they want to know. That's about nine out of ten. That's what they want to know. Let's just get right to it. That's what they want to know. Come on. Okay. Nine times, now, so 90% and then, of the time. And then you got to, hold on, listen, you listen. Okay. You got to blow in her ear. You got to rub up what? Toes. What else? Come back to the mic because I want everybody to hear this. Mike, get in the shower. Yeah, no. I'm going to get in the shower with you. I'm going I'm, I'm to get in the shower, shower with, with you. I'm going to put the, the, the baby oil on you and everything. Okay. Ain't no rush. Because all you got is time. You ain't got to go nowhere tomorrow. You ain't got to go nowhere. I'm retired. I ain't got to get to work. He didn't check the medicine cabinet. Hey, ain't hey. nobody coming in the house. Right. Ain't, right. ain't no strange right. house shoes. He can take his time. Hey, so look. Bro, he about to get it in. All he about this to make real. This, real, bro. All this is coming when you got some peace and some serenity around you. Yeah. You can work like that. No, I, yeah. That's real. Y'all okay. give it up for me. Y'all give it up. That's some good stuff, man. Yes, sir. Good stuff. I, I, I'm enjoying you, man. You got to come yeah. back. I'm enjoying that, brother. Mm. Next question. Okay. Should my partner be jealous if I hang out with my male friends more than my female friends? We got a hell What y'all yeah. say over there? Y'all want the mic? You would be jealous. But okay, so everybody isn't like a girl's girl. What if what if she is a guy's girl like and it's it's like not sexual but that's what it is yeah oh oh yeah i'm sitting here listening to you girl hold on come, get on come the to mic, the girl. mic we can't hear you i can't even hear you too they can't see you just get on the mic you just, yo, you okay, let me let me just say yourself. Let me just say this. I I was the I wouldn't say tomboy, but I was always with all the homies. I always hung out with all the guys. So they used to all give me game, you know, they used to tell me about how, you know, this girl was when they went over to their house and that and so they put me up on game about a I'm lot about of stuff. I'm gonna put your ass up on some more game. Keep going. But but the thing was was that I, because I learned how to be the homie, I learned how to be in a room without being sexual with men. Like, I was really the least likely one that was out here thotting. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I was on girlfriend mode. Like, every dude that I saw, I was like, ooh, I'm just going to be so in love. Like, I was always taking it a, a different approach. I'm always taking it slower. I already have the game. I already understand what the guys are thinking because most of my friends was dudes. I mean, that's just what it was. But I was, I was doing less as far as like spreading love around than my regular friends. I mean, my regular friends, they, they wanted to see a guy and then they want to talk to the cuz and they want to talk to this person. Oh, that's stuff I just said earlier? Yeah. See, everybody, I, I told you I pay attention. What I said earlier, I said everybody thought about a cousin of, of their mate or someone in one of their friends. Not that you would do it, but it came across your mind. But keep going. I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't, a thought is a thought, is a thought but it, I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> trust. I'm talking about um, if your person is, is with, you know, just around a certain group of people, it doesn't necessarily always mean that you know they out there. It it, it don't. And so love. so so you you you're correct, right? Um, but one of but one of those is what you just said. The game that they was putting you on is also the game that they some of them was trying to roll. Yeah. I would tell you the game on purpose. Yeah. So just want to put that out there. Some men would tell you the game on purpose. I leave it like that. Not all. No, I understand what you're saying. Them, I know what you're saying. Some of them, but I think all of us would feel uncomfortable if the opposite is hanging out with a bunch of guys or a bunch of girls. I think, you know what I'm saying? It's, it has nothing to do with 
you, you, you immature. It's just, it's the nature of feeling uncomfortable because the truth to the matter is, male or female, as a friend, again, I'm going across boundaries that nobody never want to talk about. It doesn't mean you pursue what I'm talking about. But sometimes thoughts come to your mind of even a friend. Yeah. I'm going to bust your bubbles in here. And then you say, hell no, I ain't crossing that because you know what you are, mature. But because if you can accept what I said, because that's how you have thought before, is a why the reason you feel uncomfortable about him or her with a whole bunch of girls hanging out, a whole bunch of guys. Now, I don't mean that he or she would do something, mm -hmm. but it's, we're talking about you being uncomfortable. You feeling uneasy about it. Well, what if they're nature. older friends? I mean, what if the, the friends predate the relationship? Oh, that's a little, again, that's a little different because uh, what's well, different is not different. They have to feel welcome with your friends from the past, your opposite sex. You cannot make them feel like they can't be a part of the conversation. Right. Oh, that's you you can't, that only y'all know the joke. You have to go into the situation letting folk know what, what the deal is. Like, you know, you're friends with mostly men or you're friends with mostly women so that they understand what, what things can look like. But that still doesn't mean that you're not going to feel uncomfortable because it's the nature of human beings and other creatures, to men and women together, and, you know, uh, same sex in some cases as well. But... But it's the nature to be attracted to something. And so you're always, a lot of times, I won't say always, a lot of times, you're going to have that feeling of unease. And it may not be your person. You might not trust the people they're with. No, that's Amen. true. That's true. It may be you like, I, that, that dude, that, I don't know that, 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 that. But again, those are conversations that you have. Right. See, you know? that was going to be my point. I feel like, yes, you, you might trust your mate. But as a guy or a woman, you might see if she or he hanging out with five of their friends, you might see one of the friends that's eyeing your mate. And that's the one that made you uncomfortable. That's when you're supposed to tell her, it's like, okay, you can hang out, but I don't like so-and-so. You got to let them know. <laughs> that's where the conversation got to come in. Because going to what he was saying, everybody in here, Everybody in here has a friend that's the wild one. You know damn well that's about to go up. Everybody. You already know. And when you meet somebody, you, you with him or her, you already know. You're like, man, your girl's a hoe. Your boy's a hoe. That's the one. Wait. <laughs> Everybody got a whole friend. Put your hands up. Don't lie. Everybody. I don't know. I, I just, yeah. I feel that it, it's never one size fit all. You always have to respect your relationship because ultimately you're not trying to feud with, you know, with people, your person to entertain outside people. It, it just depends. But I also say that I'm the type of person, I don't like to feel like, I don't like to feel like people could tell me what I can or can't do. So let, we can have a conversation and let's, you know, let's get an understanding what makes you uncomfortable or whatever. And then I can make the choice. But you're not about to be telling me I'm grown as hell that I can not speak to this person or not speak to that person. Right, because you, you need to be able to have a say. In right, that, because you, you need know. to be able to trust the person you with that they're going to conduct themselves accordingly. Because just like I said, while you talking about her. And her friends, you got a whole friend too. You might be the hoe. Or you might be the hoe. You might be the hoe. Well, <laughs> then you got a whole different problem in the relationship. What you got next? You got What's one on that? Okay. All right. When you expose a person's ulterior motive, 
for dealing with you, they turn evil? Their alt ulterior hmm? motive. They turn evil. Well, they didn't turn evil, they are evil. They've been exposed. So of course they're gonna get upset. Yeah. Oh, nice and hot. If you, yeah. When you expose a person's ulterior motive for dealing with you, they turn evil. I guess that's more of a statement. I guess they... Next question. They turn evil. All right. We was too real tonight, wasn't we? Too real? Sounds like a good. Yeah. We was too real, too honest tonight. If y'all were going to relationships, anybody single watching, when we talked about tonight, you'll be better off. You can make better decisions. Don't prolong the situation. All right, y'all. My friend is always lonely because her attitude sucks. How do I tell her it's her without getting, without her getting angry? She might get angry. <laughs> you, you don't need to spare her feelings because it might, <laughs> right? She's going to get angry because she has a funky attitude. <laughs> but she needs to know, especially if that's your friend. So what do you tell them? Like you suck? Like girl, your attitude stinks. You're tripping. Oh, you say I, I can't take you nowhere? Hmm. You meet the person where they are. You know your friends. You know what they'll what resonates with them. So you just meet them where they are. But well, if they're complaining to you. Man. And you you can only tell them a hey, you gotta hit the mic again. got that one friend when y'all go to the restaurant and she always complain about her food mm -hmm. yes i don't go out with that person oh no uh-uh no you know what i'm saying i don't want nothing happening in my food so i don't go out with you anymore absolutely now i don't play that you're not about to be acting crazy you had a date do that did you tell her right there that it wasn't gonna work so you told her, don't lose my number, delete me out your phone. Still paying, that was nice. Did you guys drive to get home? So did you tell her, you told her why you told her you suck, your attitude sucks? Well, she cussed you out, but that's that broad cussed you out. Did she get like explosively upset or she understood? I, I need you to get on the mic, man. Get on the mic, man. Come on. We can't even hear, right? They don't see you. We can't even hear you all. They don't see you. They could just hear you. No, okay. Oh, hell. Next question. We we done. We done in. We done in five minutes. Five minutes. Y'all y'all been enjoying yourselves tonight. Make some noise. All right. Next, what you got? How do you approach new sex ideas without hurting feelings? How do you approach new sex ideas without hurting their feelings? Well, why has it got to hurt their feelings? What you got back here, Pleasure Gap? Why what you got feelings? to say? I, you look like you had a you you look like you had a good answer back yeah, there. Yeah, I feel like you got some. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Like, I, what you do turn you... on Pornhub. You do not turn on no porn hub. So what do you think about this? Let's pick the section. I mean, not well, down. Why would it hurt her feelings unless you're talking about a whole other person or something? You said what? Introduce another I person. Because you you why to else would feelings time. be hurt? Okay. No, but some people don't know how to really express it. It sounds easy and simple and what we're saying, but some people... No, get back up there. Some people, they, they, that's, why, that's why people do what they do. You need to say, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, you playing with my ear. Go ahead. I was just, well, just going to say that if you're introducing, you know, if you're trying to introduce a third party or something like that. To oh, the, wait. To, okay. Then that could be offensive because now what that does is not only are you asking that person to indulge with somebody else but it also makes that person feel inadequate because now they're thinking one of me is not good enough you need two so that could be offensive in that regard but i think just bottom line and in, in, in all this great conversation is uh, 
we just need to be more brutally honest with ourselves. Thank you. Period. Because a lot of the conversations that are not being had or should be had are not because we're not brutally honest with ourselves. And then we're going into relationships, you know, at 80% of what we really, really want out of that relationship. And that creates a whole nother conversation or lack thereof of a conversation to where you're now inadequate about your conversations about sex and, and what that person wants and, and how slow I need to be versus how fast you want me to be or right. all those type of things. So I just think being brutally honest with who we are can eliminate a whole lot of stuff, but we don't want to do that because we'd rather have the excitement, we'd rather have the fun, we'd rather have the, the, that moment of it, whatever versus the long-term understanding. So, but to that question again, I think if you're introducing somebody else or, or something like that, or you're asking somebody to do something just really outlandish, like, you know, hey, you know, all of a sudden you want to do yeah, bondage. Put this gun up your coochie. Right. <laughs> well, listen, yeah. I think that that is exactly why we do Relationship Hour. We, we need some brutal honesty <laughs> it ain't loaded. I Look. emptied the clip. Just. <laughs> we need honesty. We need honest conversations. And we need to be able to have these conversations with, without judgment to be able to understand uh, that yes. there might be something else out there besides what we always knew. And kink shaming. It hey, would Corey, be what me. That I got to hey, call called. me after this. I got, I'm going to call you after this. I want to ask you something. Corey B. That's my girl there. Okay. She's funny as hell. Y'all go follow her if you ain't following her yet. But we do a lot of shaming people for what it is they like sexually, which That's I right. was saying is called kink shaming, which is no better than shaming somebody for anything else that they like. Whatever your yeah. preference is, is what it is, and you hope to find somebody that can be in alignment with that thing. And so that's why you have to be honest with who you are, what you want personally, so that when you're face to face with somebody else, you can be open and honest with them as well. And you have a better chance of things that's matching right. up and working. And that's why a lot of people be cheating, doing what they're doing. They're afraid to have a conversation or tell what they like. Tell what you like. And why we got to keep having sex 30 times to figure out if you like it and you like it this way, you want it that way. Open up your mouth and say, this is what you into. This is what you like. It's your body. It's who you are. This way you ain't got to go on, oh, I'm so unhappy, he can't please me, she can't do this, she can't. Man, if you had a conversation, once y'all, because a lot of times hey, you skip it just to go try it. Well, you didn't try it a few times, and y'all already went out a few times, now when you going to really say what you like? I really don't like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, so. All right, next question. Then we done in five minutes. We got another, no, we another question, Sam. 845, that's it. We done. All right, Sam. Two minutes. All right. All right, well, we ain't going to get to it. We good? We're good. All right, we good, because I got to finish eating this fish, right? And I'm hungry. Hey, y'all, uh, but y'all have a good time tonight, though? All right. So we'll, we'll be back um, coming up here next week. Now, listen, get ready. In February, we got... Uh, Trigger, that's going to be crazy. Trigger is joining Relationship Hour. Phi Beta Sigmas will be in the building. It's going to be crazy questions. They are already asking questions and emailing, sending them around the city. So be here on that on that day. What day is that? February? No, it's not the 5th. What day is that? It's February it's Not the 5th, but that's on a Saturday, a Friday. But anyway, it's two, about two weeks from now. I want y'all to be here to enjoy that. But I think what we got out tonight is... Uh, if people would be more honest and be real and stop living in a fake world. A lot of us, because we don't want to, we live in a world now that it's better to lie than to be honest. You don't want nobody to know your truth because you don't want them to counsel you. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like I'm going to say this, you can share it to whoever you want to. The whole this whole damn thing about, about I, I, always, I don't want to say the name wrong, so can you please give the correct LTBGTQ, say it right? Yes. Because I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't, I don't say it all the time, so I don't know. it. What is it? I, I don't know. I'll okay. just say the alphabet. But those wonderful people. 
Well, come on up. Now, what's That's I plus? Many. I don't know. I never heard that part. No, the plus part. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay. Break it down. Lesbian, gay. Gay. Uh huh. What's the asexual? I don't know what the asexual is. Now, I was confused on that. I'm going to be honest with you, Park. So, um, so help me out on that. I'm not the person who's sexual. However, it boils down to that person. So, more than one person. Uh huh. But I think a lot of people do that. They just want to admit it. But keep going. Oh, you talking about that? Oh, the oh, the, uh, the bring the mic. No, I can't hear. You. Yeah. That's what that used to be way back for us old people. So. Oh, you old? I mean, I'm old enough. I'm not as old as you, but I'm close. <laughs> oh. Pow, pow, pow. All right, keep going. Plus is also for people who are supportive, correct? Okay. Not they haven't made up their mind yet. So, since you're there, we want to talk about what we're talking about today. So there's a trans, the transgender community is upset and wants Aretha Franklin's song pulled off of Spotify. No, I didn't. I don't know what we're doing. The natural, natural woman. Natural woman, yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was one particular group. That one particular was out group. Of, um, I don't know. It's there. It's, it's everywhere. What, what? It's all on the internet. There's different communities within the community, correct? So, in, in the same way that there's, well, there's black folks brought on, the XYZ, the community, how that is communicated for the rest of the white folks out there. Oh, they can't hear him. Yeah, we want to hear you. We want to hear you. Oh, there it goes. There you I go. thought, there I, you okay. Go. About what it's going, what's going on in the, the entirety of our community. They're not a representative for all of us. I'll, I'll say that. For one, and then for two, um, the only thing that I could speak to in reference to how or why offense would be taken in the first place would have to do with the whole idea of bioessentialism. But if I'm being honest, I I I don't care. I I m not care about none of it. <laughs> um, Okay. So I didn't um, read that part, but that was, but that was but part you know of what? it. You know they what? Said, I will oh. say, I will say that sometimes you have people that come in to stir the pot with certain situations that aren't that don't, really even a part of yep, their troll and and trying to create some type of division. So whatever this little organization that decided to put it out, we don't know if they're actually practicing in those communities or not. But just like uh, we were talking about with the Black Lives Matter, you have white people that were coming to the neighborhoods and writing stuff as if they were black people, but they were getting exposed on camera because they weren't even the ones throwing the bricks and breaking and doing all the stuff, but they were doing it in the name of Black Lives Matter to put it in a bad light. So who knows? 
That being said, though, the only, the, the question now, they, this, w this was posed to a lot of left-leaning politicians when a lot of anti-LGBTQIA plus um, legislation was being passed within the past, what, three years? Um, a lot of them would ask the question, well, <clears throat> Senator AOC, now what is a woman, right? And ultimately, her answer was such that, first of all, they got frustrated, and second of all, it opened up a door for gender discourse that they weren't willing or ready to have. So in reference to what a natural woman is or who does or doesn't fit that definition, maybe that question could be posed. However, the song in and of itself, I could care less about. In that order. Give you a, give, sure, uh, thank you for speaking up, appreciate you. And that's what it's all about, is having these great conversations. That's why we do it. Come back next week for it. Because I don't know what song I'm going to get mad at. Be, they want to pull off that song. I want to pull off a lot of songs about shooting up and killing every goddamn body. And nobody never want to talk about that. We act, see again, we ignore it. One thing, and then we go. On. One thing I can't stand, and one of the hardest things that's been in my career, is to tell the black community, stop, we stop the music on radio stations, and we tell us, stop killing each other. And we bring all these wonderful people on to come on and talk. All these people, you know, got names and community leaders. I mean, they really can't say too much because the community wants it. And as soon as we get through telling y'all to put the guns down and while we killing each other, the next song that comes on, I'm a key, come on, see, what is in the... I'm probably going to be the only radio personality that ever was real enough to tell y'all the truth. But we know that the majority wants to hear that. So that's why they won't say nothing. But yet we want everybody else to stand up. I'm preaching in here tonight, Anna, and save the community. But at the end of the day, all of us don't take it as entertainment. We know, I grew up old school, it's entertainment. But the young heads think it's real, and that's why you hear so many more rappers dying today than you ever heard. People who never even make it to the radio, they got rap beefs online. So, but it, it, it makes money. It's on. You might want to take your t-shirt off right now. I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> they can't see. <laughs> Can we laugh sometime? That was a good one. That was a good joke, wasn't it? They right. can't see it. That's it right here? All right. Yeah. Right. I just wanted to speak on that because as somebody who's been in the music industry 30 years, working with, you know, a lot, I'm not going to name drop, but a lot of well-known rappers and been on tours and I've, I've, I've lived that life and people always ask me, why did I walk away or not as involved and that's exactly why because the way the industry was going where you know it was one thing to to speak on your environment like a lot of the old school rappers would do um, and every and every once in a while you had a rapper that was just kind of just wild with it but most of them were speaking more of a this is what's going on and I'm being like the social reporter to my community versus it became a cool thing to talk about and I found myself in those situations in that environment where it was like less about the report here yeah. that it was uh, less about the reporting and more about the, the glorification and the glorification uh, took over the, the industry and became more predominant to where it was like, okay, 
Um, even my voice in the room, which for a while, I had a good voice in the room where, you know, like I said, I won't name drop, but I've been in the room with some pretty predominant rapper. If I drop names, y'all will be like, wow, that would listen. But then I learned or I started to see more and more those artists coming up stop listening. And it was all about, well, they wanted to, they want me to talk about shooting 20 people in the song. They want to talk about me doing drugs versus I'm doing this to, to, to take care of my family. They want to talk about the drugs. They want to talk about that. So I just wanted to say that because that was something for me on a personal level uh, because I love what I did. Like I said, I was in the music business. I've done everything in the music business except sing a note and play an instrument. Literally. I've put tours together. I've, I've done everything. Uh, but that was something that I saw, and it was really... For me, who's somebody who loved the music and loved the business, and especially from a hip hop R&B standpoint, it was heartbreaking because I saw that transpiring, and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, so to what Sam was talking about, like yeah, like we talk about you know, you know, somebody else doing something to us, another community or race of people or whatever. We, we but we don't pay attention to what we're doing to ourselves, and it's because we don't want to. It's just like you talk about, you know, why is so much sex and stuff on TV? You know, because we want that. Sex sells. <laughs> Neg right, right. Negativity, negativity. So, and and, and so. I would, and, and I'm going to answer this because I know somebody's saying, well, why don't you? I'm not about to do that by myself. I can't change the world. We only had one person who died for us, and look how we treat them. So why would I stick myself out there for that? You just got to be conscious of them. I just like to make everybody think. Did I make y'all think tonight? We had a good time. Everybody thought? All right. Appreciate y'all. We back at it next week. We're going to be playing some Gunner. The snitch he is. <laughs> Don't even start. That poor man. He's probably in danger. Uh, yeah, but he wanted to live that life, though. Now it's real. He ain't know. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. Be safe, man. Thanks for watching us and share the video. Holla. G Spot, what up? Oh, yeah, give out. Yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, we still on live. Tell them about your show. Uh, Tea Time with Tacoma Maria podcast on Facebook Live every Monday, every Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Um, what is my Instagram? T underscore K Nicole 426. Right, and thank Kenya. you guys for all y'all yes. who joined. We appreciate it. Kenya Brown? Well, you can find me with this guy weekdays, 10 to 3, 93.1 WZAK, Sam Silk Show with Bijou Star. Hit me up on my social media. I'm Kenya Brown Live. If you're on Facebook, I'm Kenya Brown, the one with that Cavs championship hat on. Now I'm going to put Latifah on blast. Uh, if you want to get your makeup done, you want to get your hair self. done. Come over and tell them your IG. I want I'm everybody. gonna show them how cute you are. Y'all show you love for my daughter. Y'all wanna look like this. I, I met her mama when she was 16. <laughs> <laughs> um, how y'all doing tonight? My Instagram is MUA underscore La La B for everybody that's on Facebook Live, Instagram Live. And for anybody that's in here today, I do hair and makeup at the Reverend's Design Team in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Yeah, getting Thank it in. For coming out tonight. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We're going to have a cocktail and kick it fellowship. And uh, we doing it, y'all. And uh, Rabbit, uh, y'all give it up for Rabbit, who holds down the foundation here. We about to do some foundation stuff. Come on, show your love. That's my girl. That's my sister over there. All right. Freddie, take us out of here. We cut the music. Yeah, take us off. There we go.